Hey everyone, in this video we're going to solve this equation with two absolute values. So to do that, we have to drop the absolute values. So there's a rule you can use, right? If you have the absolute value of A equal to the absolute value of B, what this is saying is that you have two numbers and their distance from zero is the same. So these numbers must be the same number or they must be opposites, right? Recall the absolute value of A is the distance between A and zero, right? So these numbers have the same distance from zero, so they must be the same, or they must be opposites. So whenever you have two absolute values, you can drop the absolute values, and you can just put a plus and a minus. That's exactly what we're going to do in this problem here. So let's work through it. Solution. So we'll start by writing, dropping the absolute values. So negative 2x plus 5 equals x plus 3. Or, we have the other case, negative 2x plus 5 equals minus x plus 3. Notice the parentheses, right? It's really important to have uh, parentheses here when you do this. So when you have two absolute values, right, you drop them and you do a plus and you do a minus. Now we can solve each one individually and we got this. I'm thinking maybe subtract the x from both sides and subtract the 5. So minus x, minus x minus 5, minus 5, boom, boom. Negative 2x minus x is negative 3x. And this will be equal to negative 2. And then divide by negative 3, so we get x equals negative 2 over negative 3. So x is equal to 2 over 3. And that is the answer there. Same thing here, negative 2x plus 5, equals minus x minus 3. In this case, we'll add x to both sides, plus x plus x, and subtract 5, minus 5 minus 5. That gives us negative x. These cancel. Boom, boom. Negative 3 minus 5 is negative 8. Divide by negative 1, and you get 8. Went through that kind of quickly, but it's not too bad. And that's how you do it. I hope this video has been helpful.